Welcome to the Fantasy Football Profit Podcast, hosted by Craig Phillips and Jeff Torrey. Visit us at FantasyFootballProfit.com. And now your hosts, Craig and Jeff. Welcome everyone to the Fantasy Football Profit Podcast. I'm Craig Phillips, joined as always by Jeff Torrey. And today we're going to do a little mock draft. We haven't done one in a bit, but what we're going to do here, probably for the next few weeks, actually, I think, we're going to try mock drafts with different strategies that you hear out there and just try them out. You know, we don't know how they're all going to play out, but we're going to try out different strategies every week and see, is this viable? Can this actually work? So today's episode is going to be zero running back. We're doing a zero running back strategy. And okay, I'll just before we start this, I'll say this. I actually don't really truly like having just a specific strategy. I'm a let the draft come to you, see how it plays out. But not everyone wants to do that. There is the, the talk about, okay, let's start zero running backs the way to go. And you know what? I'm open to it. Let's see how it plays out. You know, I want to see how it how it could play out and could it work. So I'm picking from the five spot. Jeff's picking from the nine spot. I think Jeff's position might be a little better yeah. one to do it with. But what does zero running back mean to you? So it's at least the first two first two rounds. I'm getting wide receivers, I think, at least. Okay. I think that's the kind of way to go. And sometimes I even look at round three. It depends on who's there. But I think that's kind of the way to, to play it is to get at least the first two rounds. So this draft is underway. So the first four picks went in a weird order, which on Fantasy Football Calculator, you never quite know. But it was Zeke Barkley McCaffrey, which is crazy. And then Derrick Henry. And so I'm up at the five spot. And so this is going to be easy going on with this strategy. I'm going to get Michael Thomas. That's, a, I think, pretty clear cut way to go right michael thomas there josh jacobs went number six ahead of dalvin cook and alvin kamara yeah this is the spot i would not usually do this because you're like you're looking at this like oh right now i'm like uh especially two in a row i'm like god i could get pat mahomes in the first round all right that's a that's another that's not a computer that's an actual person making that guys are going for it dalvin cook so you're sitting there at nine and alvin kamara (laughs) Oh, God. This is right here. Why you don't go into a draft with a strategy? So Jeff, this is you know maybe we, maybe you said we went zero. You went zero running back, but maybe you just have to switch it up. And I, I, I maybe you just can't do it. So uh, I got. I'm gonna stick with it, and let's see <laughs> how badly this goes. I don't know. That's crazy. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm gonna go. All right. I'm. Oh. This is why you don't go to a strategy. Yeah. So I'm gonna go Devonte Adams, and if he. Oh, you didn't love it. Okay. Alvin. Yeah. Uh, he dro- he went right before me. So the ten spot. We're. we're I'm not gonna like even, even here. I really. Like, I would never. I would never go another wide receiver. I so mean, you, I, the whole point is to figure out if this actually works, though. So I'm gonna stick with it. So but you could right end now, up with Kamara and like Mixon could have been your team right here. Oh yeah. Or right now I can still get like Miles Sanders, who I absolutely love. Yep. So who? who but I'm get here. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stick with the wide receiver. I'm going to go one more and see if like what comes back to me. That's the whole point of this. So I'm going to go Tyreek Hill. And so I have Devontae Adams, Tyreek Hill. I have two very good wide receivers with upside touchdown potential, obviously. Am I freaking out right now? Yeah. But I knew that I wasn't going to – this would not be the normal way I would do it. So this is why I want to stick with it. Even though, God, I could have Elvin Kamara and I could have – you know, that that's how I would have loved to do it before. But – Right. But, hey – some people like to stick to their guns and go zero running back. This is the yeah. way to go, right? This is the way to go. And I think the most telling part here, right? Like, yeah, I could have switched up, but the big one is who is available later. And maybe it does work out better than I think. And maybe I would switch it up a little bit, but we'll be able to figure that out. All right. So I'm up after, uh, so you picked Tyreek, then it went Mixon, Hopkins, Miles Sanders. So I'm up. So I pick Julio here. That's, uh, I don't think there's a question then if I'm going zero running back. I got, So I got Michael Thomas and Julio. You have Devontae Adams and Ty- Tyreek Hill. We have a really great start, I think, like in general, if with these running backs, if we can pull off these running backs in the third. This is going to be the key. A lot of running backs are going. Aaron Jones just went. Drake went. Lamar went. Clyde Edwards-Alaire went. Kenny Galladay went. Travis Kelsey. There's two more picks before I'm up. This is where I could start to look at running back. Possibly. Possibly. We'll see how this plays out because you know what? I might not go running back, to be honest with you, Jeff. I might do it again. We'll see. I might go extreme zero rb after um for you is a little scarier than me because if it gets to me and i can make that that decision at least i'm only you know two, yep. two oh, I'm players doing away from I'm, it. I'm doing it i'm going with chris godwin okay see that's a good one though 
wide receiver three. So I got Thomas, Jones, and Godwin. Some might say that's three top six wide receivers, right? Seven, top seven yeah. in our book. Um, Godwin is fifth, though, in consensus right now. So he's up there. So then it went James Conner, Cooper Cup, Austin Eckler. Jeff's on the clock. He can finally go running back if he if he chooses to do so. And we'll see what he does. Oh, see, here is, it absolutely kills me. It could work, though. Mm. I mean, even you know, here, like, uh, I feel like I have to go at least one more uh, wide receiver. Because um, there's Evans sitting there. It's a good yeah, one. Evans is sitting there, too, which I really and like. Thielen. And Thielen, which I like both of them. But I'm going to go Mike Evans. I feel like I'm following you. But now I can come back. And for that running back, I knew I was going to do three anyway. It does not bother me. So, so you're going to get Gurley? Melvin Gordon and Adam Thielen went. Now I'm sitting here, and I have to figure out who I'm going to go with. And these are not the order I would put them, right? So I do have Todd Gurley above all of these people. So, yeah, I'm going to go Todd Gurley, which I actually really like. All right, great. So I get Todd Gurley. I get... Uh, a running back that I well, think really does have a lot of upside. And if another one makes its way back, even though we're going to be the one scrounging for him and we like the same running yep. backs at this position, that's going to be an well, issue. This is if Gurley plays out and becomes Gurley again. And one of these other, like this could actually work. Yeah, it could work. This is crazy. But I me. just know that you're about to get two running backs, right? Yeah. So, so you're screwed. I'm about to miss um, out on. It depends. Well, on, but yeah, who, I don't who know who I want here though. This is where I'm kind of yeah. like, I don't see. I don't love these guys as my one, Mm-mm. so I'm gonna make a pick, hoping somebody else comes back to me. I'm gonna pick Le'Veon Bell. So Bell, so we get girl. Can you imagine a couple seasons ago thinking about this? You're gonna we're gonna get Gurley and Bell in the fourth. Yeah, in like as our RB ones. So. This is I'm surprised. I actually thought for you, I thought Le'Veon might actually make it back to me. I, I don't know why mm-hmm. I think that, but I, because I thought you would have gone okay, even though I don't like it. I'm going to go Chris Carson. See, I don't like it ever. I pass up Chris Carson yeah. all I the time. I thought you'd go Chris Carson and then been like, okay, and then take, and I hope you don't, but Devin Singletary. Oh, there he goes. Back. I was hoping to take Singletary. Okay. And well, I know who you're going to take now probably. Oh, <laughs> so Singletary puts, was going to be my guy. This puts me in a very bad situation now, which I hate because I thought the number two was going to be one of these three guys. I'm not going to say the last one because Craig is picking right now, even though I, I'm a, assuming he's going to take him. Yeah, so <laughs> I go Jonathan Taylor. Yeah. So Le'Veon Bell, Devin Singleton, and Jonathan Taylor, I think all have huge upside. And I really like him. Even Mark Ingram would have been a solid mm-hmm. pick, which went as well. So now I'm just sitting here with my thumb and my whatever. This is what I was worried about. <laughs> this is my biggest nightmare. This is where it doesn't work, right? This is where. Right. It, so I have it 30 falls seconds apart. to figure out who the heck to pick. If and- you like David Montgomery, this would be different. Or this is where you go at this strategy. Do you just go with the upside and go like DeAndre Swift and hope he plays out? Is this where you go? go for that upside rookie. I almost think you have to go upside rookie, like I'm with Taylor, when you're going this zero RB type stuff here. I almost feel like that's the way to go. I know. Because you could go Swift and on the, the next turn around, you get Dobbins or something and hope they both play out. Actually, um, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Swift. And I hate that. I was thinking about going Mostert, but with this one, I feel like you have to hit it out of the park. So I'm going to take the the upside play. And there's some awesome receivers left. So I don't, I hate doing this. I hate going the wide receiver early because when you still got like DJ Moore and you got Beckham here in the, whatever they were in the sixth, it's like, geez, I can't even go. Like, I hate this so much. Okay. I'm going to, Oh my gosh. No, I got to go with my, I'm going to go uh, Raheem. Ooh, I know it's rough, but I got to stick to my gun a little bit. I'm going to go Raheem Moster and hope to gosh that he is a, that he's the number he's the one running back in San Francisco, but really, I mean, and you'll probably you'll probably take him with one of these. But if it wasn't him, it was going to be J.K. Dobbins. But since I already have DeAndre Swift, I'm kind of like, can I really grab two of those guys? I know. And the worst part too is like when you get down to that level, obviously that you know Mahomes and Jackson were gone. They went in the first two rounds, and then Travis Kelsey and Kittle went in the third round. So even when I didn't like anyone there, I didn't need another wide receiver. It would have been kind of redundant to get a fourth guy, which I just did. <laughs> okay, well, I don't. I mean, I don't. Well, you already have two and three. That's fine. So I picked uh, DJ Moore as my wide receiver four. But which, you were able to get Jonathan Taylor, which I have a lot more well, faith in. My than hope is DeAndre though here Swift. as a running back is coming back to me. And so after I picked DJ Moore, I went Robert Woods, Keenan Allen, Terry McLaurin, David Montgomery, who I wouldn't have picked anyway. 
Chark, Marquise Brown, AJ Green, Zach Ertz. I'm back up on the clock. This is where I go with J.K. Dobbins. Yeah, okay. I knew you were going to take him before I could. So J.K. Them. Dobbins, and I hope he play, he breaks out because he's my wide running back three, so it's a little worrisome. Others would have picked Cam Akers here. I probably would have. I can bet on that. I like I like the Dobbins upside more than Akers, honestly. But Akers wouldn't be a terrible pick for you if you would choose to go go with him here. He's I'd definitely say. one of them. I'm looking at the other, actually. But you know what? I, even though, God, I should probably take him. You know what? Screw that. It, this is you know, f that. I'm gonna go Cortland Sutton because I really do believe in that guy. I, I love him so much. I think the fact that he went that low, that's great. So he's gonna be my fourth wide receiver, and at least I can overwhelm people that way. Um, and now I get to go again, and guess what? Cam Akers is still there. So now I take him, and I just need one of these young guys to pan out, even though I hate that. I feel like I was one one player away from actually liking this strategy. Right. It's it's that second RB, right? It's a second running back in, what, the fifth round yeah. where, where it can go bad. That depends on who's there. Um, it's not the – it's it's almost like you if you do it, you don't do it in the third. You don't go for the third receiver, no. right? It can work with the first two, possibly. Well, it wasn't even the third. It would be because fourth round, if I was going to go get three out of the four wide receivers, right, I would have gotten Todd Gurley anyway. And then on the back, I just would have missed out on Mike Evans. So I would have gotten the running back anyway. It yeah. was coming all the way back. I missed out on, I mean, what was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight running backs on that turn between four and five that absolutely just killed whatever, whoever was left. All right, so I'm back on the clock here. This is where I start to don't know what I should do. Don't love. There's not like a tight end I think I want here. Don't want to go that route. I already have a lot of receivers. Don't need to go there. Running backs I don't love anymore. Quarter. Mm, I don't like this spot. This is where this is where I hate. This is I hate this spot in the draft. I truly do. Every time it gets me right here. Every single time. This kills me. So I'm going to make a pick, which I don't even love. Some people like it more than I do. I'll go Kareem Hunt. I don't I don't like – this isn't like, oh, I love this, but um, I'll go with it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't love it. I don't love it. That's – um, <laughs> I just don't love it. I'm selling it. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I mean, I – something about it I don't love. I, I, can't, I can't explain it um, to you. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, but I'll I'll make the pick. <laughs> so after Hunt, it went Breeze, it went Boyd, Gallup, Rogers, Landry, Lindsey. There are two more picks. I'm up again. I'm going to be in the same boat again because I don't love this spot. And if you look at where QB and tight end is as well, I'm at the place where I don't love anyone no, enough to pick. There's them, so, so many of them yet to me that I'm like, ah, there's guys so that you're just I'll wait picking players at the moment. Which you know you could pick another. Wide receiver, honestly, and it would be fine, but you're going to have you know, so many good ones. You're, at this point, is it trade bait? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't even know. I don't I don't quite know what to do. Grab another running back because yeah, you're I just... Yeah, I think I will. Un, like, I think unsure. I'm going to pick a guy that I, I'm high on. Not everyone else is necessarily. I'm going to go with Matt Burita. I, I'm, I'm a fan. <laughs> this is also the problem, though, doing it with you. Because, yeah, I mean, you pretty much took the last... In my eyes, because starting running. I back. don't. It was is Jordan Howard still there? Oh, he just got yeah. picked after. People are picking Jordan Howard ahead. They would have picked him ahead of yeah. Breda. I just don't believe in it. No, I like I like Breda so much more, like yeah. long term in that one. Yeah, it's just not my. Uh, you know, this is this, you get. I'll tell you this part of the draft I hate every time though. I just I think they're the. I don't love these players. I don't know what it is. The early rounds I like. <laughs> I mean, I guess what what is that? Everyone loves the early rounds, <laughs> right. but. It gets to a spot in the draft where I'm just not sold on so many guys right now where it becomes it becomes rough. And I start sometimes to lean. I didn't quite hear necessarily all the way, but I probably in the next round, I start to lean towards the um, upside play. I found myself drafting a lot of young receivers in the drafts, the relegation drafts we did. And that's where I end up um, coming up there. So, yeah, I picked Brita, went Howard, Ingram, Edelman. Jeff's up on the clock here. Trying to figure out what he wants to do. I'm not sure what he wants to do. God, I hate everything about this. Right Tell now. you this, these rounds, this it really gets you here where it's just not great, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sitting in a place where it's just no, there's no real thing. So I'm gonna just go and get someone I like, even though I'm I'm reaching a little bit. But I'm gonna go get Justin Jefferson. 
I think he has more upside than a lot of these other guys have. Um, so I'm going to go get him in, in round nine instead of waiting. Um, so, another wide receiver, but I really think that he is going to have the best rookie year just because of where he's at. All right. But now I'm at the same place, though. So whatever. Like, it didn't help me at all. Um, Man, these middle rounds, every every time I'm doing a draft lately, I, I have to start finding guys I like, I guess. Um, I just don't know if it's there right now. There's just so many question marks. It's I think you go young, you go upside. You start to, like, you pick Jefferson there. I think that's just kind of, it might it might be the way to go here and get the most out of that. And I'm going to, I'm going to go Antonio Gibson. And the, <laughs> and the reason I don't love any of this feels like a reach, right? Yeah. No. <laughs> it is a little bit of a reach, but the reason I did him is because I do yeah, think but, that he has the ability to catch a lot of passes in Washington and run the ball. Yeah. So I think he's, a, he's almost a little safer than yep. like if a running back just doesn't work out, I feel like they're going to have to use him in one, one way or another. So I might as well take the high upside and I have Todd Gurley, I believe in him, between DeAndre Swift, Raheem Mostert, Cam Akers, and Antonio Gibson. I feel like one has to have a good year. <laughs> you know, that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. So this is where I'm going to start play, playing the upside, doing the upside thing. I'm going to go Jerry Judy. Just because, um, yeah, this is where I start I start getting these young guys. Like you get Jefferson to, you know, I start getting, and you got Gibson. This is where I like to get the young guys. Um, especially because I looked at quarterback there. I looked at tight end. And I like so many of the guys here at this spot where they're so similar to me that I, I'll, I'll wait a little bit. So after I did pick um, Judy, maybe I should have gone quarterback because then it went, went Stafford and Matt Ryan all got picked, which were three of them why I'm looking on the board. I'm like, ah, I can wait. I thought I could wait too. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just like, boom, they're gone. Actually, it, I don't mind it. I mean, this would be the time to grab one probably. But and then you got Tom Brady still there. You got Tom. You have Daniel Jones who – Put your money where your mouth is on that one. Or you go Cam Newton. You got Cam. You got Baker. I mean, you do have a few. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Tom. I'll go Brady. I got. I got Godwin. I'll do the Brady Godwin thing. Um, it's not. I just don't want to wait too long because I know I'm probably not getting. There's certain guys that you like too. I don't know how long you'll wait here now. No, I'm gonna just grab. I'm gonna grab Tannehill. I would say. I know you'll probably go Tannehill there. I just don't want to wait around anymore. A little too dangerous. And yeah, it just it got to the the spot where people are going away. So we're at, let's see here. And we should probably, let's, w- this doesn't force us to, but we'll, we'll pick a kicker and a D. We'll still do okay. it. It's 15 rounds. So we have, what, we have, uh, well, geez, I can't do math today. We have four more rounds left, right? Yep. So we'll right. do that. So I'm going to continue going upside. And we had talked about him last episode, if you will. It'll be uh, in league winners. This is actually someone that, Craig brought up. I'm going to go Damian Harris. Ooh, took him. Took him. Dang it. Yeah. So you can get a couple of guys late. Um, I desperately need help at, at running back still. I'm still very un, unknown. So if Sony Michelle doesn't play, I could use Damian Harris quite a bit. Yeah. Not a terrible pick. All right. So it puts me back on the clock after you picked Harris. New England D went off the board. So defenses, four defenses have gone off the board already. So then Christian Kirk, Deontay Johnson. I'm up. I have, let's see here, currently have. What five receivers, five running backs? I have no tight ends. I should look maybe and see what I like. <laughs> but there's still enough guys. There's I like. so many left. Well, I the just, problem is I we only have enough for one one guy, right? I mean, yeah. Where I one more, I should say, than other than tight end, defense, and kicker. I used it on Damian Harris. I probably could have waited on it. I like that one either way. But I, I, went, I went Hayden Hurst. Okay, so I'll go Hayden Hurst here. I love it too because at this point you picked. Where did you have Hurst ranked? He would have been, I believe I had him at nine. Where did you have Jared Cook? Twelve. Okay. So I, I do. You, on the other hand, would have picked Cook over Hurst because that's how you rank him. Yeah, but thank God Jared <laughs> Cook went. Because <laughs> I didn't want to pick him. But, yeah, uh, but you, I mean, Tyler Higby right. is there, so I got to put my money where but, my mouth is on that one. So this is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go with the second tight end. Ooh. I think I'm going to go, ah, oh, no, no, I'm not going to do it. Never mind. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. You're going to just second? I was. I was going to go Gusecki, but since we're going to pick kicker and D, I'm going to go second quarterback because I got Tom, and I'll go with Cam Newton because, yeah, Tom's old, and who knows what's going to happen, right? So I'll go Cam Newton there. All right, so might as well start now for kicker and defense so I don't get and I will the say, last so one. I'll so. say this about kicker and defense. 
I don't mind jumping in a round or two before the end. I used to always be like steadfast. Oh, you have to get him in the last two rounds. I'm not that way anymore because I think there's so many similar players that why not go get the best of the best, right? I always at least do it at least one round ahead of time. Kicker, but I sometimes think, I do it even two. Well, I think kicker for sure. Tight, uh, defense switches so much where I'm not, I'm not like loving going early on defense because I mean it changes year to year. And as, like Chicago, remember everyone was picking Chicago or Jacksonville so early a couple years ago, and it doesn't always play out. So Jeff's up again. He has two more picks left. He has ten seconds. See if he gets a player. See if he remembers to click a button. He's and, trying. He's trying. Yeah. So I grabbed <laughs> a defense. I mean, who cares? But, <laughs> but it's one of those. So I grabbed one earlier. I was really trying to search through them because I think their rankings are way <laughs> off. But <clears throat> they, they can be at times. All right. So here we go. I'm up. I need a kicker. I need a D. I will go with uh, Matt Prater. Go 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 with the go with the with the Lions player there at kicker. He's. I mean, I think it's a solid pick to have. He. And he's, he's one of the bright spots on the Lions. So here we go. I'm mm. <laughs> Tyler Higby. Okay, that's why I shouldn't have waited until the last one. I was about yeah. to like be like, and look, Tyler Higby in the uh, last round. That's amazing. <laughs> and I was so, going to throw a defense. I'm just going to throw Denver. I'm not really worried about exactly who I get. So I'll go Denver to end that off. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't mind that. I and wish Jeff Higby would have fell to me, but now I get Mike Jacecki. So yeah, still not go. terrible. No, I like that pick. I like Kaseki. It's a good, solid pick. All right, so there we go. Nice little mock. So let me – I'm throwing these into football. Football guys uh, rate my team as well. They actually have a new – um, a whole new system here, which is – this looks really kind of cool. I haven't seen this before. So we'll see how what they say about us, Jeff. I think they actually is, have grades now. I was going to say, I think yours will come out a little bit better than mine because I think that second running back is so much better. I like J.K. Dobbins better. That one, it no. Oh, look at this. Fell much better. Football guy, I'm gonna give him a shout out. You can actually import your your teams on here now. Like I used to remember, I used to do those all manually. Yeah. I can't on this because it was a different thing, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So it gives us grades, then it gives us the percent chance of making the playoffs, like it always does. So it gave me a C plus, <laughs> gave you a C plus. So you have a 55 percent chance of making the playoffs with great management. So it's 55, 35, 16. I am at 50, 35, 13. So you slightly have, are slightly better than me. I'll be honest. I don't agree with them. Slightly, slightly it might be. Better. I think I think Le'Veon Bell in their eyes is lower. And I, I would give that with Todd Gurley. But Jonathan Taylor, if he hits, you you will be just fine. Yeah, and that's that's where it's at. So I got I got Brady and Cam Newton. I think that can work. Um, running backs, this is where the zero, remember, if you're listening, zero, we went zero RB. So this isn't normally maybe what we would do. I, actually, I can tell you for sure. It's not what we would do. <laughs> I but can tell you right now, I will not ever do this. So again. <laughs> I got I got Le'Veon Bell, which if he becomes Bell again, great. If John Taylor, if he becomes a star, great. Like, of course, of course that works. Kareem Hunt, Matt Burita, J.K. Dobbins. There's potential there. I have some potential. Wide receivers, this is, I got Thomas and Julio, Chris Godwin, T.J. Moore. I mean, that's just... That's kind of kind of good, I would say. Hayden Hurst at tight end, and then Prater and Broncos. So, what do you have there, Jeff? A solid, solid, solid group of players. Yeah. So you're gonna go. We'll go QB. I have Ryan Tannehill. I think he's he's a great value. I got him in round eleven. Right. He has a good upside. He's just solid for if you're gonna pretty much wait until the end. And then for running back, I have Todd Gurley, which I really like. And then I have. Uh, just an assortment of young guys. I have DeAndre Swift, Raheem Mostert, Cam Akers, Antonio Gibson, and Damian Harris. I just need one of them to figure it out and do it. And then as far as wide receivers go, and this is obviously where me and Craig shine, Devontae Adams, Tyreek Hill, Mike Evans. I like it because not only do I have Devontae Adams, who as long as he stays healthy, will be consistent, but I also have Tyreek Hill, who will win me weeks, which is wonderful if you're going to do this strategy. That's a great way to go. I also have Cortland Sutton, who I really love, and Justin Jefferson. So those five guys, I mean, you, you can't really beat them unless I could get Michael Thomas instead of, you know. Yep. But, who, you know, that just doesn't happen. And then uh, I grabbed Mike Jacecki, the very last round of the draft. I like that. Yeah, great upside. Maybe I should have grabbed him a little. And then, you know, kicker and defense, I went a little on 13 and round 14. Um, you know, just got very solid ones. So overall... Uh, I think what I'm missing is a running back. Well, running back one, really. So I think this is what we'll do every week here after we try a new strategy. At the end, just 
thumbs up or thumbs down on the yeah. on this? What do you think? Thumbs and down. <laughs> I, I'm going to go with thumbs down too. It could though. There is a potential for it to work, but I think you go. You have to go two and go in the third round. May maybe maybe it's. I say it. It could work. I'm not going to say it could never work. It could play out, but I don't think it's a great way to go. Okay, and actually, it's very interesting because if I would, if you tweak it just one way, because having three in a row, you're going to get th- three major wide receivers, right? But even if I have Tyreek Hill and Mike Evans, the question becomes, let me see where, okay, so he wouldn't have made it back to me. I was trying to, oh no, see, do I give up Devonta Adams or Tyreek Hill? If I give up Tyreek Hill, say, I could have uh, Miles Sanders. If I gave up Devonta Adams, I could have Elvin Kamara. So mm-hmm. if I give up one of those, say I have Elvin, or yeah, say I have, uh, well, I'll keep Devontae Adams because he's ranked higher technically, okay? I would have Devontae Adams, Mike Evans, Cortland Sutton, Justin Jefferson, four wide receivers. Very solid. Yeah, I don't have, uh, you know, I, I don't have Tyreek Hill, which is a huge playmaker. But instead of him, I'd have Miles Sanders, and I would still have Todd Gurley. So I feel like I'd be covered. And then I also have four really young running backs. I think that would be the difference. I just don't think you can do three in a row. And I, I think mm. one of the first two rounds has to be a running back yeah. because they go too quickly. If you tweak it like that, this can work. You can go wide receiver first and wide receiver heavy even. But I feel like that that second round has to be a, a running back. Yep. All right. That will do it for Mock Draft. So this will be uh, this will be out on, uh, on Monday. It's our first Monday episode of the year. So I think going forward, we're going to try to get three out at least a week. Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays for you. So... Mondays will probably be our mock draft day. We'll think of, uh, figure out what we'll do next week. Um, there's always some different stuff you can do. Go tight end early, go bunch of running backs. Who knows? We'll, we'll come up with some strategies and try those out on next week's episode. But that'll do it for today. Talk to you guys next time.